Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 and 5 tutorial. So in today's video, what we're going to be going over is creating a system which allows us to have a line trace come from wherever the player clicks on the screen. So for example, the player could have their viewport like this, and if they were to click here, that is where the line trace is going to go. If they click there, click there, wherever they click, that's where the line trace is going to go. So I'm not going to showcase a specific application of this in this video. However, it's very easy to implement that onto what you want. And I can obviously help with that on Discord as well if you did want that. But some different areas where you might want to use this is maybe a top-down game. You might want to click somewhere on the screen and the player then goes there. Or maybe you want to interact with like a 3D menu. So it's not a widget. It's just actual like cubes in the level. You can then use this to actually click on it. So whatever it is that you want, this is easy to do that. So if I were to hit play, I can show you what we're going to make today. So you'll notice I've got a viewport up here. And if I just click, you'll notice a red cube is appearing there. That's not actually a red cube that I'm spawning in. That is just obviously the end of the line trace. So if I just click all these places, you'll see it's going where I am clicking on my screen. And if I were to press 1, I'm going to go back to my character. And you can see all of these different things now exactly where they should be. So again, you can see all of these have spawned in where I was clicking on the screen and on the viewport as you saw before. So this is what we're going to be going over and creating today. Nice, simple and quick, but also very efficient for different use cases as I mentioned earlier. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing you want to do is open up the blueprint which you want this code to be in. So this might be a blueprint actor just from main menu component. This might be in your character blueprint. Whatever it is that you want to do, just put it in the correct blueprint for you. And again, I can help further if you do want that. So for me, that's just going to be in an actor BP here. All I've got in here at the moment is a way to just start using this blueprint and then go back to the player. Not the most efficient way of doing it, but for the purpose of this tutorial, it's perfectly fine. Now, in order to actually do the line trace we want to do, that's very simple. We can right click and get an action mapping that we want. So for me, it's going to be left mouse button. So whenever I click, that's where it's going to be. But again, do this for whatever you want. And I would recommend using either left or right mouse button or the middle mouse button because obviously it's going to be where the player's mouse is so it makes sense to use a mouse button. Out of pressed we obviously want to get a line trace and this wants to be a line trace by channel like so. And for the start and end we're going to do it differently to how we normally do it. So we're going to right click and get player controller. Out of this the majority of the work is already done for us. So all we're going to do is that the return value is convert mouse location to world space. This is going to do all of the maths for us to get our mouse location into where it actually is in the real world. So that makes it nice and easy. And very simply now, this world location is going to go into the start. And this world location is also going to go into an addition node, which will go into the end. What else is going to go into this addition node is going to be come out of the world direction and get a vector multiplied by, and then we want to right click this, convert pin, and be a float. And I went for float double precision, and this here is just going to control how long the line trace is. So I'm going to set this to a value of a thousand for me. It doesn't have to be that high, it could be much higher, it could be much lower, but just based upon where I put my blueprint in the world, I'm going with a fairly high number. And that is going to go into the other value of the addition there. So now I'll tell you why we're doing this. So the world location. Is going to be the start because that's where the mouse actually is in the world so where we want to start from so basically if the player was in the world that's where it was and the world direction is where it's going so which direction it's going to be heading in so we're going to multiply that to make that line longer and which is why that is the end and the reason we're then adding that to the start location is because that just keeps it going in a straight line so i hope that all makes sense as to why we've done what we've done and just to test this out i'm going to go draw debug type to persistent so we can actually see the line as well and then after this here this is where you do the code for what you want so for example you might go out of a out hit break hit result and then get the hit actor or hit component to see what the player is actually interacting with so for example if this is to maybe interact with a button in a 3d widget like i said earlier you'd want either the hit actor or component or if this was maybe to actually make the player move somewhere what you'd want is the location out of here because that is going to be where the line trace hits so that's where you want the player to go to so we'll compile and save again i'm not doing anything with that today just showing you how to do the line trace itself so if i were to click you'll notice nothing is actually happening so let's have a look at why that is what it might be is this value is too small as i did 5000 last time 
let's try that one again instead of 1000 and see if that does anything there we go that's a lot better so you notice it was working it just wasn't going far enough so if I were to set it back to 1000 and then go into the player view we can see where this is actually going so you'll notice it is working it's just ending up there instead so 5000 for me is actually perfect for the size of the map I am using so obviously if it doesn't work for you just change this value here and that will probably be your problem the line trace just isn't going far enough but you can see now I can click anywhere and the line trace is going where my mouse is on the screen but into the real world position so I think that'll be it for this video is we've done everything we want to do today as you can see what we've done is we've set up a system which allows us to click anywhere on the screen and then it's going to do a line trace in that specific place on screen but in the real world as you can see perfectly here so thanks so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one